Hi guys, this is Sprite from Condé Systems and in this video I'm going to show you how to create name badges using variable data in a text file. So the first thing that you'll want to do is create the design for your name badge and also set up your page size and orientation. Open a new document by clicking Control N or the new document icon or going to File New. Then we want to size our page to be slightly larger than the template we're going to be working with. Today we're using our 2 inch by 3 inch name badge which is item U5950. So I have that open and I want to copy and paste my template into my document by using Control C to copy and then Control V to paste. So we have our template here and you see our template is 3 and a quarter by 2 and a quarter and now we want to set our page size to be slightly larger than that. So we click onto our page off of our template and then set our page to three and a half by two and a half. Hit enter. Your page has now resized and you want to drag your template to the center of your page. And we're just going to do a quick decoration today, but you can decorate your badge using whichever designs, colors, or fonts that you'd like. So I'm just going to import an image by using Control i double-clicking my image, left-clicking to paste it onto my page, and then right-clicking to power clip it inside to my template by just clicking the outer edges there. So once I have my badge designed, now I'm going to enter in my data in Notepad. You can also use Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Access to enter your data. So once we have Notepad open, the first thing we're going to enter is the number of fields that we'll be using. Today we're going to be using three fields. So we type in the number three, then hit enter. Then we want to enter in the name of our fields the following way. A forward slash, the name of your first field, which is just going to be the person's name, followed by two forward slashes, the name of the second field, which is going to be their last name, followed by two forward slashes, and then the name of the third field, which is just going to be their business. One forward slash, and then hit enter. And now you're ready to enter in your data for your fields. So following this formatting, we're going to hit one forward slash, the fir person's first name, two forward slashes, their last name, two forward slashes, and their business name. One forward slash, enter, and now we're ready to type in the data for our second field, our second name badge, excuse me. So we just type in one forward slash and continue to follow the formatting. and so on and so forth until you're finished. Once you are finished entering in all of your data, you want to save your text file by going to File and then Save. <clears throat> so once we have everything saved, we're going to come back here to Corel and begin to actually merge our documents, excuse me, our data into our document. So in order to do that, we're going to click on File, Print Merge, and then create and load print merge. So when the print merge wizard comes up, we ha you have two different ways to do this. You can create new text or you can import your text from a data source. So we want to import because we already have our data created. And click next. Then we want to find our file by clicking on the browse tab, finding where we saved it. Make sure that the type of file that you have is selected here. So we use a TXT file. Click Next. And then here you want to make sure that your fields match what you have in your text file. So everything looks fine. Click Next. And then the next dialog box, you can edit your data or even add additional records or delete records. Everything looks good, so we just click Next. Here you have the option to save your settings if you'd like. 
by clicking in the dialog box and then saving it where you'd like, or you can just click finish to return to your document. So once we've finished that, we want to enter our fields into our badge. To do that, we can use our drop down menu here, and you see our three fields. So we're going to enter the first one, which is our name, click on insert the field, move it to wherever you'd like, and we're going to go to our second field and just continue to do that until we've entered all of our fields onto our card. Now we can decorate our text how we'd like. So I want our business name to be a little bit smaller. And then I want to change the font of everything. So we'll just select everything, change the font here. I want to make sure everything is centered. So draw a box around everything and hit C. And I also want to make sure that my text is centered by aligning it to center. Okay, so once we have everything about how we want it to look on our card, we can actually perform the print merge by clicking perform print merge. So that's going to bring up your print dialog. And we want to make sure that everything is set up correctly by clicking on preferences. Click the correct page size and also the correct page orientation. So the orientation of our name badge is landscape. So we want our orientation of our paper to look the same way. So click on OK and then apply. And now we want to preview everything to make sure it looks good. So here, if we were to click print, we would have every name badge printing on one single page. So we want to conserve ink and paper by setting up the layout of our page. So we want to click here on the layout tab and then we want to add columns for our additional name badges. So here you can see we add columns and if you add too many columns it's going to begin to shrink the size of your name badge so make sure you keep in mind that we have a three inch name badge so we have three inches, six inches, nine inches and we have an 11 inch page size. So we want to add three columns across and we can do two or three columns up and down. So once we have all of that set up make sure it looks correct by going back to our print preview and then you're ready to print by clicking your print icon or you can right click and go to print now. I hope this video was very helpful. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and happy sublimating.